Hey you guys, so this is problem number 18 from chapter 3. This section is a section on current division and voltage division, and this problem is a design problem. So we want to design a circuit with four resistors in parallel, and we want to find what resistor values will give us this type of design. Uh, the source voltage is going to be one volt, the source current is one milliamp, and the current needs to split in this way. This current is I1, and that's going to be twice I2, so two I2, so it needs to be double this. This current, I2, is equal to two I3, I3 is equal to two I4, and I4 is just I4, so everything ultimately depends on I4. So to solve this one, since this section is on current division, we're going to use the current divider law. And current division says that the current total current is going to split like this. It's going to split as REQ, the total resistance seen by the source, over the branch of the resistance in question, times the current, I sub X. So that tells me that this one milliamp is going to go through and split in four pieces, four ways, and it's going to split however the total, whatever the total resistance is, divided by the resistance of that particular branch times the total current, how that splits. So that's proven in the book, and that's what we're going to use as our tool to design this particular circuit. So let's take a look at what we have. We have um, four things that we don't know, but we have a bunch of dependencies. So let's just start with what current division tells us. I know that I've got one milliamp here, so that is going to split through here like this. Current division tells me that I sub one is going to equal REQ over R one times one Milli, one milliamp. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to take a step backwards. We need to find our EQ. We need to find the equivalent scene if we were to take our, our DMM and put the probes right here. What is the, equi the equivalent resistance that we would see? Well, we can solve for that because we know that V is equal to I R. So therefore, our R, the resistance seen by at the source, is going to be V over I. And that is 1 volt over 1 milliamp. And that is equal to 1 kilo ohm. So now we know what is the, res the resistance is seen by the source. We can continue to use the current division. I'm going to park that value here. REQ is 1 kilo ohm. So... Now, we can use that and current division to find these values. So I1 is equal to REQ over R1 times 1 million. And REQ we said was 1K. 1K. Okay. I2 is going to be 1k over R2 times 1 milliamp. I3 is equal to 1k over R3 times 1 milliamp. And then I4 is 1k over R4 times 1 milliamp. Okay. So let's start with I1. Well, we know that I1 is really 2I2. So I'm going to replace that with 2I2. So I1 is equal to 2I2. And then I2 is really 2I3. So I2 is really 2I3. And I3 is really 2I4. So this I3 is really 2I4. Great. Well, if I2 is 2I3, I3 is 2I4, then I2 is really 2 times 
2i4. And that's really 4i4. That gives me 4i4 right there. And this, if I1 is really 2i2, and I2 is really 2i4, 4i4, then I do a substitution here, substitute 4i4, and that will give me I1 is really 8i4. And this is a good thing, because now I have enough equations or enough things, I only have one current that I don't know, and I can solve for that current, because I know that the sum of these four currents must be must total one milliamp, and that's in one equation, one unknown that I can solve. So we take the sum of the currents must equal one milliamp. So we have eight I four plus, which is really I one. Let me just take a step back and rewrite that. What I'm trying to say is I one plus I two plus I three plus I four is equal to one milliamp, but I1 is really 8I4, and I2 is really 4I4, and I3 is really 2I4, and I4 is just I4. That's equal to 1 milliamp. 12, so we have 15I4, is equal to 1 milliamp, and when you, so when you solve for I4, you should come up with 60, so 1 milliamp divided by 15 is 67 microamp -peers. Great. So now that we know what that value is, we can solve for R1. Now we have one equation and one unknown. So park this value over here. I4 is 67 microamps. One kilos and one millis cancel each other out to give you just one. R1, if 8I4 is equal to 1 over R1, then you can swap these the places of these two and say put 8I4 here and R1 here. So we know that I4 is 67 microamps, therefore. R1 is going to be 1 over 8 times 67 microamps. And that gives me a value of 1875. Same thing here. 1 milli. Millis cancel out with kilos to give me 1. R2 is in the denominator. 4i4 is here. You can swap the two places. Put 4i4 here and R2 here. Substitute 67 microamps for I4, and you should come up with a value for I R2 of 3750. R3, so you have 2i4 here. I'm going to swap places for these two. R3, and that's going to be 2I4. Millis cancel with kilos. So put 1 over 2 times 67 micros, and you should end up with 7,500 for R3. And last but not least, R4. is 1 over I4, and when you do 1 divided by 67 microns, you should end up with 15 K. And those are the resistor values that will satisfy our design requirements. And that's that. Be sure to like the Facebook page and share the video.